Welcome to my graveyard vlog. Hi strangers, welcome to another graveyard vlog. at a different graveyard today it's very close to the one I normally go to it's just across the road but this one is very beautiful and has lots of trees I am feeling a bit nervous today because there are lots of topless weirdos around and I think they've been drinking as well so yes I'm feeling a bit nervous and yeah I'm hoping they will pass through very soon but yes, apart from that, it's a beautiful day again. I can't believe it. Like, we've had rubbish weather. And today, it's just another beautiful, beautiful day here at the graveyard. So, how has your week been? Well, it's been one of them weeks. It's literally been like a ghost train this week. If you know what I mean, there's been ups and downs and screams and tears and happiness. So yes, it's been very, very crazy. And to start with, Monday, I don't even remember what I got up to. I have been sitting with my notes trying to figure out what I got up to on Monday and I cannot, I just cannot remember. It's, it's gone. I think, did we even have Monday this week? Like, because I just don't know anymore. I, I think I've just lost my mind. Then again, it has been the summer holidays and I have had kids whining at me and you know it's just so I'm very sorry I don't remember what happened Monday but it couldn't have been that interesting so he probably missed a big bullet there on Tuesday my husband's t-shirt finally arrived the one from Le Mort. it's so cool it has a knight on a black horse with loads of really cool gothic logos on it and it's just amazing and it came with a poster and a postcard and it was just really lovely so yeah I'm glad that came I had to stay at home and I had to wait for the stupid gas man to arrive you know I don't have good luck at this whenever there's meant to be someone coming over to the house to either expect something Stupid lash, why is it always this side? Forgive that, forgive that. But yes, whenever anyone comes around the house to do safety inspections or um, building work, there is, they never come. So I end up having to wait in all day and nobody ever turns up. So guess what? Yes, they canceled at three o'clock. But that didn't bother me too badly because I managed to do my story. So I loved my story this week. I, my husband, well, I have troubles knowing what to write about, but once I got it in my head, I find it pretty easy. So I asked my husband for some help and he said, wear pig. And as soon as I heard that title in my mind, I knew exactly what I wanted to write about. So, really cute dogs down here again today let me show you if I can hey doggy yes coming over to say hello so yes it was about you, you need to go and watch the video because I think it's brilliant I'm just saying that because I wrote it and I, I'm not it's quite funny there was one thing I missed from the end though once my, because my husband didn't read the story until he watched it on my video. 
So, yeah, he told me, he, Karen at the end should have said, I want to speak to your manager. Oh my God, that would have been so funny. So, yeah, I should have done that. Sorry, I'm feeling, I'm feeling bad I didn't, because that would have been hilarious. I can't believe how many of you guys have tuned in to come and watch my story again this week. It's amazing. I am so happy. I am, it's just, I don't know. It's something that you, like, I like writing short stories and then knowing that this many people have watched it and enjoyed it, it's just amazing. It's an amazing feeling. So thank you guys for your comments and for watching. I hate waiting in for people at home. It feels like I'm gonna go insane. I don't know why, because I'm just, you know, I can't go downstairs because I'm worried I missed the door and it's just annoying. I wanted to take my son out that day. It was a really nice day last Tuesday and I had plans to take him to the pool. Yes, of course, the whole day got absolutely ruined. Apart from my story, of course. I just have so many ideas about what I can write about and just different ideas, really. Oopsie. Sometimes I do struggle, um, so like with names and places. So if you guys, so if you, <laughs> sorry, I'm playing with my hair now. So distracted, right? Um, so if you guys have any ideas about um, stories or if you want your name in the story, then that would be great. It's September now and lots of people are doing their Halloween shopping and their Halloween decoration putting up in their houses. I don't do that because my Halloween stuff's up continuously. So instead of that, I decided to take my son around the shops to see how much Halloween things we could find around the shops. And it was kind of rubbish, to be honest. We looked around like the pound shops and um, other shops around town, but we couldn't find anything. So we ended up going to build a bear, which is a bad idea. It's so expensive, because he had um, some money of his own. He had some pocket money, which was like 23 pound, I think he had. And then the bear was only 22 pound. I was like, yes, you can get the bear. And then, of course, it's all the accessories in Build the Bear that cost the money. So he wanted to get it a hat, he wanted to get it some clothes. So yes, it ended up being a very expensive trip. But I have a very, very happy son. And yeah, he sleeps with his bear every night. So it's worth getting another one for him, so. But yes, don't take your children to Build a Bear. Otherwise you will be broke. So, the Five Nights at Freddy trailer's out. You guys seen it yet? Are you fans? But I am a big fan of Five Nights at Freddy's. I just love the whole idea of the electronics killing children in the pizza place. I don't know, it sounds weird, but I just love the idea of it. Um, I played the games. I, my son was absolutely addicted to it for a very long time, so he has all the books. So yes, I am very excited. The trailer was pretty good. Didn't give too much away, which I like. I have heard it's gonna, the movie itself is gonna be three hours long. So that will be interesting to find out whether it's going to be or not. And it's out soon, not long to go. I've moved down a bit. You can see more of this amazing grave stone here. It's so busy. It's amazing what a little bit of sun can do. It's like people everywhere. I didn't want to see people today. I'd rather just stayed at home. I'm only here because of you guys. It's just, just heaving with people. Do you know when you have one of those days you just want to hide? Well, today I feel like that. And I'm feeling very, like, annoyed. Right, where was I? Let me look at my notes again because there's too much going on here for me to concentrate. Uh, done done some Halloween shopping and ended up hardly doing anything because he spent all of my cash. 
Uh, so Thursday, let's, let's go on to Thursday now. I think it's Thursday. Yes, I stayed at home and I'm trying, trying, trying to finish this kitchen. My witchy kitchen. My, my witchy kitchen before the summer holidays ended and I don't think I'm going to be able to do it because there's only a few days left and they're back at school. It's literally taking forever and I don't even know why because I am trying so hard to get it done. I set my son up in the hallway with his paints and an easel and a canvas. So we had we just had a really painty day and it was really nice as you could probably see in my witchy kitchen video his little cheeky face keep popping out into my I didn't even know he was doing it half the time but yeah his his cheeky little face kept on popping around the corner of my camera. So yeah. It was a good day. I got some stuff done at least. It's been a nightmare trying to get stuff ready for back to school. It just doesn't seem to end. It's so hard having four children to get ready for school. There's so much to organise and sort out. It's just... If you're a parent and have kids, you know what I mean. It's And also it's really emotional because I really want them to go back to school to have a bit of free time but also I'm going to be really sad because I, I will miss them. I don't know why, it's just having them the whole time, I know they're safe, they're with me, I can see what they're up to, I can ask them if they're okay all the time because I'm like that, I'm weird and yeah I'm going to be sad when I go back so I've been a bit emotional and it's stressing me out because you know, I just want them with me the whole time, but they have to go to school and I do need some free time. It'd be nice to do a video at least once about talking to, about my kids the whole time, so don't begin. But yes, it's it's been a stressful and fun summer. Been washing backpacks, sorting out lunch bags. Yeah so so much to do so on friday it was raining again but i was happy because my massive timu order arrived so of course i had to run run i couldn't wait to open it and i can't open it before you guys have seen it as well so yes i ran i set up my things and got recording straight away and there was so much in the in the packet. There was so much in the package. It was just ridiculous. It just it was just ridiculous. It just was more things, more things. But really good things too. There was only a couple of things that were a little disappointing. So yes. Yeah, I can't believe how many people have watched my Timu video. I am so glad that all you guys have come along to watch me open my Timu packages and to listen to my stories. It means so much to me. You guys really don't realise how much it means to me because this is like my first proper job since having my children, which has been years and years and years and years. I've only had cleaning jobs. So this job feels like it was made for me and I really appreciate you telling me what you think about my videos. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I just love doing this, so thank you all for your support. If you guys want to... Now we've got some drumming and some dancing. I don't know whether you can see that or not. So yes, if you guys do want to help me out a little more, and I don't really like to ask this, but I need to start making some extra money. Um, so yes, you can check out you can check out my link tree, and you can donate some money if you like. 
I'll put that down on the description so you can um, have a look and see where you can do that. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. And I also play horror games over on Twitch. So if you just search twitch.tv x star raven x, I'll put it here. And yes, you can come and check me out while I'm playing my games. I'm very excited. I just finished Layers of Fear and I've been trying to get through that game for ages. And I actually completed it, so I'm very happy about that. So I will do a video. I've started to play Alan Wake now. I want to play through Alan Wake 1 before Alan Wake 2 comes out. Because you know I'm excited about Alan Wake. Because he's a writer and you can hear all of his thoughts throughout the game. So I find it really interesting and I just love the way it's done. And the new one looks very interesting as well. So I'm very hyped for that. On Friday I stayed at home again because it was raining again and I just done housework and sorted out bedrooms and sorted out some more school things. So played Jenga with my son, done some Minecraft jokes, just you know fun at home and housework, just another boring boring day. I had fun playing with all my Timu stuff though and of course my son had to put on his little plague doctor outfit and do a little dance for my video he absolutely loved that. I let him pick the filters and the music so he was very excited and I said and I'll keep saying to him look how many people have watched you look how many people have watched you and he's so happy about that so that was really cute. I just want to thank you guys again for all your support because without you guys I would have stopped doing this and yes my subscriber number keeps going up so if it keeps going up I will just keep doing more videos so thanks so much for everything and I'll see you in the next video hopefully if you can bear it what the hell is in my hair oh a spider oh, here he goes can you see him he's so tiny so cute, look. Let me put him over here. I don't want to hurt him. Um, yes, thank you so much for coming by and watching my my video. Oh, he's on my phone now. He's so cute. Oh, there he is. So cute. And I will see you in the next video. I try and say goodbye now. I'm too distracted by this really cute spider. Right. So you guys, you listening? I hope you had a good week and don't forget, never forget, be weird, be yourself and be different because otherwise you're just a boring loser. Loser. <laughs> You're just a boring loser. So take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.